Welcome back to TCM. I'm Dave Carger. This evening, we're continuing our Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebrations with a tribute to the great Denzel Washington. And up next, Washington co-stars alongside Tom Hanks in a drama that broke new ground in Hollywood when it premiered in 1993, Philadelphia. Hanks gives an Oscar-winning performance as a gay man diagnosed with AIDS who's forced to keep his illness a secret at the elite law firm where he works. But as his health declines, his colleagues catch on to the truth and he finds himself suddenly fired from his job. In an effort to fight back, he enlists the help of a scrappy young lawyer, played by Denzel Washington, who agrees to take the case despite his own homophobic prejudices. Philadelphia was the first major Hollywood movie ever to tackle the subject of AIDS, and in the months leading up to its premiere, many people thought the film would be too provocative to find a mainstream audience. But as it turned out, audiences across America flocked to the theaters, and the film became an enormous commercial hit. Many gay activists argue that the movie didn't go far enough to show the realities of living with AIDS, but Philadelphia wasn't primarily intended for an audience of informed activists. Instead, the film was made to educate people who held certain prejudices or weren't well informed about AIDS, much like Denzel Washington's character. Washington serves as the mouthpiece for the target audience, and it's his journey in the film that sets an example for how to grow from ignorance to compassion. With an Oscar-nominated screenplay by Ron Nicewaner and terrific direction from Jonathan Demme, not to mention a fantastic supporting cast featuring Antonio Banderas, Joanne Woodward, and Jason Robards from 1993, Philadelphia. Denzel Washington earned rave reviews for Philadelphia, but his performance was ultimately overlooked at the 1993 Oscars. The film did receive five Academy Award nominations in other categories, and it won Oscars for its star, Tom Hanks, and its original song, Streets of Philadelphia, by Bruce Springsteen. This was Tom Hanks' second time nominated for a Best Actor Oscar, but his first time winning the award. In his moving acceptance speech, he credited one of his high school teachers, who was a gay man, and acknowledged the important influence he'd had on his life. Ironically, this poignant speech ended up inspiring the plot of the 1997 comedy, In and Out, in which Matt Dillon accidentally outs his favorite teacher, played by Kevin Klein, in his own Academy Award acceptance speech. Up next, our Martin Luther King Jr. Day tribute to Denzel Washington continues with another powerful drama featuring Washington in one of his earliest big screen roles. <laughs> 